Okay, good morning everyone and welcome to Senior Strength and Balance. We'll be using all weights for this particular class, plus working with balance. And those of you at home, if you don't have a, a comb, let me show you what we're using. I don't think if you're not into fitness, you probably wouldn't have one of these in your repertoire at home. Yeah, but so. <laughs> anyway, something like this. Or you can get a book and stand it on end, a tall book, and just stand it on end. We're going to be using this during balance. So you can use a book or anything tall. Don't get an object that you're fond of that can break because you might crash into it. So something that, you know, is not a prized possession. All right, I'm Diane. I'll be leading you through this class. those wrist 
try to lift the ceiling off. Exhale down and pick up the weight. All right, we are going to start palms down. We lift, flip, pull in and down. Two, flip. Three, flip, pull the elbows back to the chair and down. Lift, flip, back and down. Five, <coughs> six, <coughs> seven,
gonna take the leg out to the side, lift the elbow, and then bring it back into the chest. Two, three, four. All right, now for those of us that are standing, we are going to put a little bit of weight on that quad. So we go one, lean into it, bring it back to center. Two, it's a side lunge. Three, four.
instructions. If you can't do something properly, don't do it at all if it hurts you or if you have physical challenges that prevent that. But otherwise, listen to the cues that I'm giving. Don't self-style it. If you want to do that, you can work out at home and room yourself. You don't have to bother to get in the car and come down here. All right? So I know it's difficult, especially if you haven't worked with weights before. But just listen to the instructions. Okay. So now uh, we are going to do another combo. And we are going to take that leg out to the side. This hand is on the chair. And we press over to get the waistline. All right. Now we're going to open those legs. We're going to plie lightly. Okay. It's not a big, huge plie. Weight should be even. Not leaning toward the chair. Not leaning away here. All right. So we're getting bicep, waist, quads, and opening up in the hip flexor. Ready? One. Two. Good. Three. Four.
release and up. All right, now we're going to get the tops of the arms. So the weights are going to face each other, palms facing the floor, one arm at a time, out and in. Two, three, don't skew the arm here, I'm seeing this. Okay, don't open out. That hand has to be facing the floor the entire time, then it extends out, it comes back in. And five, six, top of your arm should be talking to you. And eight, other side. And one, two, three, four,
so that you feel that weight in the balls of the feet. All right, so we're going to stand to the side of the chair, place one foot ahead of the other, hand on chair, and push forward so that you feel the weight centered in the ball of the front foot. Don't lift the toe, it's not this. It is simply moving toward the ball of the foot. We place the heel on the floor. Now shift the weight to the heel, shift back. And come forward and back. All right, now we're gonna come forward, lift the back leg. Place it down, shift to the back heel, lift the front leg. And shift forward, lift, place the foot down, shift to the back, lift, and down. Let's try it on the other side. And foot ahead of the other one. And shift forward, you feel the weight going toward the ball of the foot. Now shift back into the heel. And shift forward toward the ball of the foot. And shift back. This time, shift forward. Lift that back leg. And you feel the weight centered toward the front of that foot. And come back and lift. And you feel that weight is centered in the heel. And again, press forward. Lift the back leg. And take it down lift the front leg. All right, so now that's moving sagittally, front and back, back, sagittal movement. We're now going to move laterally, which is side to side. So your three planes of movement are sagittal, frontal, and then transverse, twisting movements, turning movements. So that's what you're going to be doing at all times, no matter what you do, it's going to be in one of those three planes. If your weight is not shifted properly toward that plane that you're working in, you've got no balance. You're going to topple, and we don't want you to fall. All right, so now we're going to place that foot ahead of the other one again. All right, now, if you can, without hands, otherwise, if your balance is shaky, I want you to keep that hand on the chair. We press forward, we lift that back leg, the weight is centered up front, we step back to center, now push the weight into the heel, stepping back, lift that leg up, and press forward, and lift, and back, and lift, all right, now side to side, we stand to the side, and get behind your chair if your balance is not good, because you're going to move side to side. All right? So, we move to the side. Feel the weight centered 
front leg, take it over the tip of the cone and back down. All right, how many were able to do that without hands? No? All right, let's try it with hands. Ready? And one, two, lean forward. Once you get over the top of that cone, lean forward, shift back. Lift the leg up. Take it back over the tip of that cone. Good. All right. Other leg. Ready? Lift. Over the top of the cone. Shift the weight forward. Lift the back leg. Come back. Center. Shift the weight to the back heel. Lift the leg. Take it back over the cone. Again. over the top. Shift forward. Take it back. Hang on to your chair. Hang on to your chair. Use your cone. Lift. Take it back over the top. Okay, I'm seeing people doing this without the cone. Oh, oh, oh. Stand behind the cone. 
always good to engage the stomach muscles, pulling them in against the spine. That helps with balance. Also putting the tongue against the roof of the mouth. So we're going to use these cones again next week. We're going to do slightly different things with them that <laughs> approximate activities of daily living so that your balance will be really great in just about every situation. All right, ready, inhale. Thank you for tuning in. I'm here tomorrow morning, 9.30, for Flexibility with Mats, 10.30, SEAT, S-E-A-T, Supported Exercise for Ageless Training, all in the chair. Have a great day.